not only are we expecting a major drop in temperatures, but we are also tracking the potential for some storms tonight. We have team coverage starting with Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls. Emily. Yeah, we potentially have to get through a little bit of rough stuff here before we see that strong cold front move through that's going to drop our temperatures really dramatically tonight. But just issued has now been a tornado watch. So all locations that you see here highlighted in red, which includes the entire Chicagoland area, with the exception of LaPorte County. So again, this is a watch, meaning that we have all the ingredients that we need to potentially see a tornado developing later on today. So this watch is going to be in effect through 10 p.m. After that, we're going to start to see our severe weather threat dropping off. But the Storm Prediction Center has the entire area in an enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five. Main concern really is going to be for large hail, but also we have a tornado risk too, of course, because we do have that tornado watch. But locations across the south suburbs highlighted in this yellow shading here, you've actually been upgraded to a 10% tornado risk. So make sure you have ways to get those severe weather alerts. If you haven't already, you can download our Fox 32 weather app and get those specific to your location. And then after this, we're talking a big drop. Let's head over to Tim McGill to tell you more. Yeah, that's right. Dramatic drop in temperatures coming up for us. Unbelievable. We could see temperatures drop by about 40 to 50 degrees and in the span of an hour, they could fall 20 to 30 degrees, depending on where you're at. A very strong cold front coming through. Feeling more like May today. Temperatures getting into the low 70s. 73 so far, the high today at O'Hare. The record high for today, 75. I don't think we'll quite make it, but we're awfully close. So near record warm for us this afternoon. Feeling more like May, and then it's going to feel like winter around here before too long. Feeling 60 to 75 degrees colder by tomorrow morning. We factor in the wind chill. We're going to have wind chills tomorrow morning around 7 or 8 o'clock and some spots getting down to near maybe even a degree or two below zero. So really uh, quite a drop expected for us over the next 12 hours or so. And we're looking at some light snow to add insult to injury for us. Here's the high temperatures we've seen so far today. Low to mid 70s. This is what we see normally in late May. More on this dramatic drop in temperatures and the chance for snow coming up a little bit later on in the show. Back to you. Out here right now, thank you, Tim. We are your eyes and, of course, your ears out here on the roads right now. And I just want to point out the fact that we did see a significant change. We're on I-57 southbound. We just passed the town of Madison, and we're headed towards uh, Frankfurt right now. I want to take you outside so you can see the change that we started to see. This all happened at around 3 this afternoon. It started with the sun slightly disappearing uh, with the clouds overshadowing it and the skies turning a little gray and the wind definitely picked up. We noticed that right away, especially Quan, who's the driver, the photographer. He noticed it as he was holding on to that steering wheel a little tighter. Uh, we did get new weather information, as you heard from our weather team, that the storm will pick up right during rush hour, impacting the south portion of Chicago and the surrounding suburbs. That will be in the form of high wind with the possibility of 60 mile per, per hour winds. Of course, again, we just hearing and for me that those winds have started to pick up and also the possibility of golf ball size hail, flash flooding and the possibility of significant tornadoes. We are seeing a 10% risk, of course, we will head to any areas where there's storm damage and give you updates on any possible power outages as we continue to monitor the situation out here right now, which again, the only thing that we're seeing is uh, that sun definitely started to come uh, down. You didn't see that sun and definitely the wind started to pick up. And again, we'll continue to monitor the situation live for you tonight in the Southland, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago. And I'm Nate Rogers in Glen Ellen, where right now we really are experiencing the calm before the storm. I'm going to turn the camera around so you all can see. We've been here at this BP gas station right off of Route 53, 53 and we've seen folks coming in and fueling up. Um, and then others here just trying to get to their destinations before things take a turn for the worse. Here in Glen Ellen, temperatures remain in the 70s. We can tell that the wind is picking up a bit, but cloudy skies are above. We've seen lots of people out and about in shorts and t-shirts enjoying the record warm temps while they last now as our meteorologist mentioned and as you heard from Tia just a few moments ago the risk here the, the major concern here are potential storms that could come that really could impact the western suburbs here we're talking Naperville Aurora and even Glen Ellen where I am right now causing significant damage of course Fox 32 will be in position and ready to cover it all um, we just spoke to a lady within the last 10 minutes ago who said that one of her concerns is that that golf ball size hail that Tia was just talking about. She says that she has some cars in her driveway at home and 
if they need to take cover, she and her family are prepared to do so. Of course, we'll continue to cover this for you, bringing you the latest on air and online. In Glen Ellen, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.